Cargill, team pilot with Precision Aerobatics and Hobby King. And today this is the third in the series of how to go from a good advanced pilot to a great pilot. And instead of uh, picking on one specific things like I did in the last two, we're going to do a bunch of tips. And these are going to be all the things that I believe that you need to incorporate into your flying in order to become a great pilot. So here they are. Okay, this first tip um, is not necessarily the, the, in order of importance. None of them are in order of importance. They're just what's convenient for me to film. But the truth is, takeoff is the first thing that happens. And we've gone over this before, but my suggestion is always make sure in your takeoff sequence there's something exciting to, uh, to get the audience's attention. You know, we discussed how just a long, smooth takeoff looks deliberate and nice but a great pilot is going to do something on take on takeoff. So uh, another tip we're going to go over is, you know, how to, you know, orchestrate the first part of, uh, of your sequences and architect that. But a good takeoff is really important. I'm going to show you two quickly. Uh, the first is a takeoff where it does do something long and, and, and deliberate with some, with some rolling. Uh, the second is I'm going to do something exciting on takeoff. So here we go. Do a two-point roll low and stay steady. And then I can come up and do any part of my uh, uh, opening sequence that I want. If I want to come back on knife edge or do a nice rolling maneuver down the runway. There's a bunch of things you can do on takeoff. Uh, you can do a, a, a snap roll or you can do a, or a giant snap roll um, where the, you have a real barrel. Or you can do one and a half or, or one and a quarter and fly out on knife edge. Um, for some reason, I think that one's a bit worn out. I just have seen people do it, you know, so much. So I tend to want to do things a little bit differently. But this takeoff here uh, will be doing something a little more exciting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take off, stay a little low, go straight up uh, into a pop top, and then come back rolling down the runway. So uh, let's see what that looks like. Off the ground, we're going to go straight up, pop top, and then we're going to come back rolling. And that's another part of the lesson, which is going to be, you know, sequencing maneuvers and doing multiple things um, back to back. Okay, my next tip is to is to just orchestrate as much as you possibly can the initial parts of your sequence because number one, it's your the audience's introduction to your flying, um, and number two, it kind of sets you up for the entire rest of what you're doing. Um, it is not necessary to orchestrate and have a sequence for your whole flight, um, literally, unless I would be competing and, and doing a completely orchestrated flight to music you know, I just basically start, you know, I have an idea what I'm going to do the first three, four maneuvers, and then I kind of freestyle it a little bit. Um, so this tip is really about the opening sequence. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fly a sequence that will be, I'll uh, do a couple points to inverted, I'll go up, I'll flip the airplane around, I'll start inverted, I'll uh, rolls very nice and slowly to knife edge, knife edge down the runway, <clears throat> and then I will do a, a, a knife edge sequence where I'll, I'll do maybe like a figure eight or half a figure eight, and then I'll go straight up and come down into a hover. And we'll show you how that particular thing looks. I'm going to come down inverted, and uh, maybe once I get to the top, I'll uh, do a flat spin or a little blender type of thing, uh, come out inverted and come back to the runway. As, as you can see, all of the maneuvers, one after the other, are in sequence and pre-planned. All right, so we got there, we got inverted. We're going to go up. I'm going to roll the airplane back again. I'm going to come dead around, inverted, just like we talked about. I'm going to roll it onto knife edge, 
and I'm going to fly down the runway knife edge. Now we're going to do this part of it. I'm going to go around in a circle. Figure eight. Go to the center. I'm going up. And let's just let's just come down to a little flat spin this way. And we're going to come down into a hover. This way I'm I'm just going to harry her down. Or if I want to, I, I could have uh, came down into the hover inverted, which always looks nice. Then I'll stand the plane up. And hover a little bit. Maybe a little torque roll, and maybe come out of it into a little rolling harrier or something like that. So anyway, that whole sequence took, you know, maybe a minute, minute and a half at the most. But again, it really uh, is one maneuver into the other, and there's no haphazard flying in any of it, which is one of my big pet peeves for pilots, is when they go up and just turn away and turn around and just go anywhere. Okay, the next tip is something I kind of briefly touched on, and that is variety. Um, there's nothing that audiences like less than somebody whose big trick is hovering, and for them to come up and hover for four and a half out of five minutes. It just, it just gets old, and um, that's the unfortunate part that the audiences do have a limited attention span, and hovering theoretically isn't all that exciting. It's exciting when it's done in, in a little bit at a time, that type of thing. So what I'm going to try and uh, ask you to do is before you go up, kind of decide the variety of things you're going to do. Uh, I'm going to do some straight line flying, like I might fly a, a, a Cuban 8 or something like that. I might, uh, I'm definitely going to do a knife edge, uh, uh, nice long knife edge pass. Um, I'm definitely going to do some hovering. Um, and I'm going to do some XA stuff, so I'm going to do some real violent tumbling, and add all those things to your flight. Um, um, you know, and always, always try and incorporate some precision flying. Okay, we don't have to reserve, you know, straight line precision stuff for, you know, being out out there large maneuvers. We can we can even do them uh, right on right on takeoff. We'll do a, like a single rolling circle here on takeoff. quarters now we come around now we're going to do combinations we're going to go straight up and we're going to do a little xa so and come down into a hover and at this point that's what i'm talking about we're going to mix it up a little bit we're going to whoops we've got a, a big crosswind here so we're going to do a little uh harrier then we'll harry a roll come out inverted Okay, this next tip is really about trying to vary how you get in and out of your, your, the, the maneuvers you really like. In other words, if, you're, if you really like to do that rolling harrier and that's a, you know, your showstopper or uh, that nice close in hover, what I would do is vary how you get in and out of it. So I'll show you a couple ways to get in and out of both a hover and uh, maybe a rolling harrier. Uh, so again, even on takeoff here, we can get into a hover by just just doing a, a, a flip to a hover. So let's uh, see how that looks. And then let it come down and hover. I, I think that looks really nice and obviously looks very controlled. Uh, we've all done the uh, uh, Harrier to a hover and, and uh, uh, you know, maybe a wall or, uh, you know, an inverted Harrier to hover. So this time let's, Kind of come from a knife edge maneuver. We've got a crosswind, so I'm going to come at an angle a little bit. Death slide. And watch, we're going to come right up into a hover if the plane wants to stand up. A little more power, and there we are, we're up in a hover. 
Okay, for a rolling harrow, you've, you've seen multiple times, you know, we get into it by flying low and we just start rolling, right? Um, maybe a good way to get into a rolling harrier would be from the opposite direction, which is a little different, right? You just have to start with a different rudder, okay? So now we're going to start the rolling harrier from an inverted position, right? And for me, from this position, I think it looks a little nicer because it's a little different. Um, another favorite of mine to start a rolling harrier is from a blender or a, a, a blender pop top or something where the plane is, is spinning. So here's kind of a flat spinny thing. We stop inverted and then we start our rolling harrier. And in my opinion, this looks really good. Yes, it's nice to, you know, I talked about going from one maneuver to the other and that's important. But transitions are a little more important than most people give it credit for. Um, because coming out of any maneuver, whether it's tumbling or uh, a wall or a this or a that or, or, a, or s some sort of precision maneuvers, once you're done with it, um, most people, if they have, uh, for instance, they're doing an inverted pass, it looks really nice. Um, when they stop, they just quick flip it back over. And we've talked about maybe doing two points, you know, back to level or in a knife edge, rolling out to inverted instead of level. When you roll level, it looks like you can't do it anymore and you had to bail out. If you roll to inverted, it looks like a continuation of the maneuver. And um, uh, I'll go through a tumbling maneuver, uh, a rolling maneuver, and a straight line maneuver and, and give you some idea how I like to transition. If I'm gonna be into a hover, you know, just flying away isn't good enough. We want to transition. It has to be deliberate. So if I go up like this, maybe I want to transition over here and take off knife edge. And that's a transition. To transition out of this, I'm going to go inverted and then up. And do something nice and straight. This isn't complicated. It's just, like I said, it's just a continuation of the maneuver that makes everything look really nice. Uh, even transitioning out of a straight line can be done, uh, you know, a lot of different ways. We can transition out of an inverted pass simply by turning it into, you know, just a flat turn. I mean, that looks really nice. Transitioning, transitioning out of tumbling is, is something that always looks better if it's very deliberate. So we're going to stop, level it off, inverted, even if it's not right at the ground, and we'll come in for a, we'll come in for a flip, and then maybe for a hover. If we're going to be coming across the, the runway, maybe and uh, doing something like this, coming out of it and having somewhere to go afterwards is important. So instead of just flying and going, okay, now what am I going to do? Um, once you get out of the particular maneuver. then let's do something intentional. All right, this time after we do our one and a half uh, uh, spins, we'll try something else. There we go, one and a half. Straight down, death dive, roll to inverted. You know, these are all trying to combine maneuvers. Maybe at this point, I wanna just start a rolling harrier. Again, the whole idea is to combine maneuvers to make everything look a little bit better. And when you exit any maneuver, you have to have an exit strategy for literally everything. There's a lot of the straight line things or a lot of tricks like, uh, this is a death slide. And uh, coming out of it, a lot of times, you know, this takes so much focus to just avoid the ground and keep the thing above the ground, we might lose uh, focus on exactly what we want to do now. But we can either go around, do a figure eight, continue on knife edge, we can go this way, we can go up, turn, start, go back down into a hover, or a harrier rather. Um, but again, the key is to keep the maneuvers coming, or if you're going to do a nice big maneuver, have an exit strategy. OK, 
Okay, the next big tip really is about uh, combinations. What I mean by combinations is tying maneuvers together. Uh, theoretically, if you have a big maneuver and you get up and you do it and you just enter and find a nice way to exit, there's nothing really wrong with that. But in my opinion, it's, it's really helpful to be able to just combine you know, maneuvers and, uh, and even like I was saying about mixing it up, you know, uh, combine some dead cool 3D stuff with some straight line flying or from some XA stuff, some violent tumbling and then stop and come out of it into something else. I'll kind of give you an, an example. Um, most of this information are things to talk about, not necessarily examples I can give you because the video would be much too long. This time I'm actually going to use Tom's flying. Tom is obviously the camera guy and one of the best pilots I know. Um, you'll watch him using uh, combinations here. Here, obviously, he's hovering. Um, he's going to stop his hover and then he is going to exit on knife edge. Now he's going to do a little knife edge circle, that kind of thing. Um, and I think all this stuff looks great. Okay, on long maneuvers, uh, combining is a little different. Uh, for instance, if you're doing a really long knife edge pass or inverted pass, um, the way I like to combine things is to take that and make sure you have a really interesting way of getting out of it and transitioning. And then, of course, if you're all the way at one corner, you know, you can always, uh, you know, go straight up and start tumbling or you can uh, um, uh, square it off really nicely and do some snapping maneuvers and, and some point rolls and things. So, okay, for instance, right now I'm going to go up and I'm just going to, you know, turn on knife edge, but I'm going to keep going straight for a while and then we'll watch how I combine into something else. I'm going to go up. We're going to roll onto knife edge. Go out. Now, exiting it is important. So I'm going to exit this way, go straight up. And from here, I'll just tumble the airplane. And now I'm going to combine again. I'm going to come out of it inverted. Oops, there we go. I'm going to come out inverted and maybe transition it into a hover. Anyway, um, another really nice way to, to uh, transition from one maneuver into another is, you know, coming out of tumbles. I like coming out of a blender or something like that and, you know, coming down to a hover or coming down into a, uh, a rolling harrier. Maybe combine, whoops, uh, maybe combine some other maneuvers. Sorry, we got a little wind going on like this. Another way to combine maneuvers is to just, you know, do some corners or things like that and just elongate the, the, the maneuver. There you go, I just squared off a loop. Maybe go directly into a quick snap this way. Quick turn. Now these are all just nice maneuvers. I'm going straight into a Harrier and back down into a Hover. So instead of just one quick maneuver, this little set of maneuvers ends up, you know, taking 40, 50 seconds. And I think that looks good. And if you want to transition into becoming a, a really good pilot, it is basically eliminating all of what I'm doing right now, which is just pointless flying. I'm just going around in circles trying to figure out what I'm going to do next. And we want to eliminate that and make it look like every part of your flight or as much as you can be deliberate. The other thing is, you know, there's always these maneuvers you like and maneuvers you do. And I, we always suggest practicing them, practice the straight lines and everything like that. But another part of it is, is, is to be creative. You know, most of the coolest maneuvers you do, somebody had to be creative to find it in the first place. Be creative with your own flying. It doesn't have to be anything new. 
Um, for instance, I can do a, a, a take something as basic as a loop, but I could do something cool with it. Watch. There. That was a loop that looked really cool. Um, uh, you can do, you know, you could take a loop and you can just do a, a what I did earlier, a square loop, but do it inverted. Up, square, down, square. Anyway, the simplest maneuvers uh, can still look really good. You can be creative with things. If you're going to do a rolling harrier, um, instead of just rolling in a circle, um, Maybe try something a little different. You know, this, this little transition that I like to do. In my opinion, that looks really nice. To, uh, to uh, take it up to the top, kick the tail over, and then start the Harrier roll again. Um, about creativity. Being creative has to do with every part of the flight. I mean, you don't have to fly things you know or things you've done. Uh, being creative, I think, helps keep you growing as a pilot, but it also keeps the hobby kind of more interesting if you have something to work on. Uh, I can honestly tell you I love working on things. It's my nature, and uh, for, for me, it's a lot of fun to just be working on something new. Be about landing. Landing can definitely be a part of your aerobatic routine. I mean, you don't have to just go around, drive around, and, and land. Um, uh, you've seen me over the years land in every possible crazy configuration. I've landed from inverted. I've landed knife edge. I, you know, I death dive to a landing, and uh, even with this addiction, I, you know, flat spin to a landing. Um, but there's a lot of things you could do that are creative and not quite as risky. Um, Harrier landings are particularly fun, interesting, and uh, they're kind of nice to get used to. Uh, it helps actually get lose your fear of the ground a little bit too. So I'm going to do a couple landings here and let's see how they look. Um, like one creative landing I really like is to is to you know come in like this and and do a really quick small loop and just land right out of the loop. This is advanced, but go into a Harrier. I'm sure you guys have seen me do this a hundred times and land right from that. Um, you know, if you're capable of doing nice, you know, low knife edge passes and stuff like that, who's to say that, you know, you can't get in a, a nice uh, high alpha configuration Coming down the runway, get lower, 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 and then just right the airplane and land. I mean, that looks pretty cool, as opposed to just flying around and, and landing. Again, this is about becoming a great pilot, and these are advanced maneuvers. But another thing I really, really like is I like that kind of death diving at the ground thing and then just, uh, just popping it to a landing. Straight down, up, and then, well... Okay. They don't always work perfectly. <laughs> Went up a little bit again, but uh, the ground comes up fast. It's a little scary, so it's easy to add too much elevator or keep too much power in it. But the bottom line is, it's, we could land like that. Um, you know, a rolling Harrier landing is really tricky, and I I would say unless you're really good at it, I I, I don't recommend it. Um, just because of the wind today, I'm, I'm not going to do it. You've seen me do it a hundred times on video. But, uh, uh, you know, theoretically, it's a really nice way to land the airplane. Okay, I guess I'll do it. I always kind of come down hard on the gear. You know, but at the very least, you can come down out of a tumble. Uh, you can harrier. Another really, this looks complicated. It looks difficult, but it's not would be to come down inverted and stay as low as you can. Leave yourself just enough room to, to right the airplane and roll it into it. I guess I broke a wheel pant on the rolling Harrier landing. But all these landings are, with the exception of rolling or Harrier landing, it's they're, they're, they're kind of simple. You just have to have some throttle control when the plane finally gets low that you can Harrier it in. But be creative on the landings, be creative on the approaches, 
and fly as deliberately as you can. Those are my best tips to be able to uh, become the pilot you really want to be. Thank you.